mesmerized by the city initially, and then I'm sure he was completely transformed by it. With Natwa existing very much between uh, these various categories. Art flowers in India as it before, and they think of him as a foreign artist. And he's stuck in the middle, as it were, in the developing art, which is unique. No other word for it. And nobody does, it, does what Natwa does. I mean, Soho had been a warehouse area for many, many decades before it became the center of the art world. And not far Bobsar arrived on the spot and it was the center of the art world. I'm not just talking about in the United States, it was the center of the art world, period. mental and psychic activity. They are interested in art as consciousness, to the point that by the end of the exhibition, consciousness itself is the work of art. Versus what was now being translated slightly differently in the Kibis mode, or I would say Futurist mode, or whatever it was, had all of already, you know, I was being accepted with what, what I was doing, you know, and. Uh, that was really not enough for me somehow, you know. It seemed like uh, unchallenging, you know, idea. And, um, I know that he's, uh, on his grandmother's side, they were involved with using color, so, you know, there, you know, he was, he was like in a world of color. There's a spiritual quality in color field painting or abstract expressionism. When you move away from the physical side of depiction, like a narrative painting, then you're dealing with some kind of a cosmology. Very um, reflective of what meditation is and what that kind of ecstasy is when one contemplates color and it's beautiful. And my art has always given me that joy and that's why I've said that I've gone to paint for a thousand years.